Ken Page, who also voiced the Oogie Boogie character in The Nightmare Before Christmas, has died at the age of 70, right before Halloween slash Christmas season. Page's performance as the character was so wildly popular that Disneyland, to this day, themed their annual Halloween event around the character. There he is, the Oogie Boogie Man. Page's Broadway resume included originating roles in some of the most important productions in musical history, theater history. Page portrayed Old Deuteronomy in the original production of Cats. That is a huge deal if you know anything about your theater. Uh, he was also known for his role as the lion in the original production of The Wiz on Broadway, not The Wizard of Oz, The Wiz, which was, it featured an all African-American cast and it was a big deal at the time, especially, it would still probably be a big deal today. And he was also nicely nice brother, nicely nicely Johnson in the first Broadway revival of Guys and Dolls, and that's that's one of my favorite shows. I love Guys and Dolls. Uh, film credits included Torch Song Trilogy from 1988 and Dream Girls, the one from 2006, and providing memorable voices for King Gator in All Dogs Go to Heaven. On TV, he made his debut opposite his Ain't Misbehaving co-star Nell Carter on Give Me a Break. <laughs> was a regular and short-lived series. Um, it was a regular on the short-lived series, Sable, and was seen on the series Family Matters, Nice, and South Central, and Touched by an Angel. From 1993 to 1994, he was the walrus on the live-action series Adventures in Wonderland. Paige's death was announced by friends, including Dorian Hannaway, who wrote on Facebook, Ken Page has passed on to the next show. My heart is broken. She went on to report he passed quietly and peacefully at his home, and he is survived by many friends and admirers. And yeah, it, it, it's so sad because these people have such an impact in people's lives. I know I was getting ready to rewatch uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas going into October, I usually watch it once at Halloween and then again at Christmas because, you know, I can't decide if yeah. it's a Halloween or a Christmas movie. <laughs> and I also do want to watch Guys and Dolls again because ever since I was reading about his his passing, I've had that song that Nicely Nicely Johnson sings Aww. from Guys and Dolls. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. You're rocking about that one. I don't know. Do, do, does anybody know what I'm talking about? I don't know. No, but it sounds lovely. And I picture you curled up with your oversized slippers from Germany just enjoying it and that's all that matters was I not supposed to say that now you people are going to want you to show that yeah no one's going to know what you're talking about but Sorry. yeah for, for our viewers I am wearing oversized very warm slippers <laughs> that I bought in Germany for my fiance so they're they're way too big for me so but now everyone knows. Sorry, yes. that's a secret that's what you don't see outside <laughs> of this frame here so you don't know what's going on but yeah, you know, the, these characters, we also, we saw the passing of Maggie Smith also, again, probably right before a lot of people are about to watch all the Harry Potter movies going into the holidays. I, I actually just watched the Downton Abbey movie on a plane, and I remember thinking she's very old, and when she dies, I won't like it, and then she passed away, so...